Hello everyone and welcome back to The Goodness Margin, the place where we find margin for the good things in life. Today I'm answering another one of your questions that you have asked me on social media. So I get this question really often, what do I do about the medicine cabinet, first aid, all of those things? Well, I'm gonna make it really simple for you. So you know what the first step is by this time. It's going to be to minimize. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, um, I have one for adults and one for children and I'm gonna check the expiration dates. It is really remarkable how quickly that medicines or supplements, how quickly that they expire. And so you wanna go through and you wanna get rid of everything that has already expired or something that you may have had a need for and you no longer need it, let that stuff go. And so now you have the things that are in date and the things you're going to use. I love these little turntables. One of the things that a lot of people do is they keep their medicine in the bathroom and that's actually not where we should keep it because it's a moist environment. The best place to keep it is somewhere that is dry, usually dark and a cooler type of temperature. I keep mine in my pantry. It's a perfect place to keep it up on a shelf where I can easily get to it, but my daughter can't reach it. I love these turntables. I bought them at the container store. I will link similar ones on Amazon for you in the blog post. And so I keep the supplements that I take, any sort of medicines I need, and one for the adults. And then I have one for children. Now also downstairs, I do have a first aid kit. I have just this simple little thing I got at Target, unzip it, it has Band-Aids, alcohol wipes, Neosporin, those types of simple things. Now upstairs, I'm in my bathroom, I'm gonna keep a larger box that has a little bit more first aid type things because if someone has a major cut or a spill on their bike, we're probably gonna take them upstairs to the bathroom. And so you wanna ask yourself the question, where do I need these supplies to live? So in the kitchen, it's an easy place. Everyone knows where to get to this easy, simple first aid kit. But then we also, everyone knows that upstairs in the bathroom is where that we have the large bottle of peroxide and alcohol and all of the, the other things like that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna minimize. The second thing you wanna do is decide where are all of these things going to live and keep them housed there rather than spread out all over the house. Decide where do you need to use this? So. It's really simple and I think sometimes we overcomplicate it by keeping all of the things that are expired and realizing, thinking we have more than we actually do. If you go through and minimize, you'll see that this is a really simple way to keep these things organized. I hope that this simple tip has helped you to find margin for the good things in life. If you've enjoyed these videos and you would like to see more, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you can be alerted when more videos are available.